Masters. Your saltwater guide mini seminar, 12 o'clock every day. Thanks for joining us today, gang. We're gonna get started in just a minute here, just letting a few more people jump on here. Uh, thanks for joining us. I told you we were gonna talk about sunglasses today, if that's what you're tuned into. I'm sorry, but we're not gonna talk about sunglasses today. We're gonna talk about sunglasses tomorrow. I had a very interesting question come up about two hours ago. And so I told the gentleman that I would answer it here on this seminar today. And the question was, Captain Dave, how do you figure out a good game plan for fishing at Catalina? How do you keep coming up with these plans that keep helping all of us catch fish over there? I told him it's simple. It's just like what we always talk about, the game plan. You have to have a plan when you're going to go out fishing, but you need information. You've got to be able to grab information from the people that you know that are out fishing every day. And you have to be able to dissect that information and know what the information is trying to tell you. What's the island doing? What is the island like right now? Is there dirty water at the island? Is there clean water at the island? Is there a big south swell? Is there a big west swell? All these things matter when you're trying to dissect Catalina, for instant, or for example, San Clemente Island, the Coronados, all these, Santa Cruz, Anacapa, Santa Barbara, all these islands are affected in different ways by the swell is a huge factor of how the island is gonna fish. South swell, that eastern end of Catalina is gonna be very, very hard to fish because of the fact that the water is going to be torn up pretty good and the current or the uh, swell is going to be pushing in a direction that most of the fish are not used to because the prevailing wind and the prevailing current in Southern California is pretty much out of the west and the swell is out of the west and when you turn that around and you have a south swell and a south wind those conditions are going to dictate how you come around and decide how you're going to fish Catalina. We're talk we could talk about any island, but right now the gentleman I was talking to was talking about Catalina and how do you come up with these plans so that he could start to understand more instead of waiting for Thursday every Thursday afternoon for when I put the game plan out. He wanted to be able to decipher it a little bit better so that when he goes, he could have a better way to read the island. And so this is what I'm telling you, gang. You got to look at the swell you got to look at you have to have some type of way to look at the water and the water temperature and the water clarity that would be fish dope is the easiest way to grab that information the quickest and easiest way with their charting that they have over on fish dope i can grab that chart look at it no matter where i am in the world i can go right on their website look at their charting figure out what that water looks like at catalina see the clarity, which is going to be on the chlorophyll, and then I can see the water temperature. Then I look at buoy weather and look at the swell height and what direction that swell is coming out of. And that's going to help me to decide whether I'm going to send you guys down east or if I'm going to send you to the middle of the island on the front or on the back, or if it's coming out a big swell out of the west, it's going to tell me to send most guys down east. We're going to look at stuff down there. And then, with all the information that we gather, you got to have a good code group. You have to have a good bunch of guys that you can call up on a daily basis that will answer the phone and that will tell you the true information. Thank goodness that I've been in this business for the last 48 years, so I am able to call people and they actually answer my phone calls. I'm not talking about the, the young kids in the business today that are that are Instagram famous and that tell, try to tell you to figure this out on your own. I'm talking about people that do this for a living that have been established in the business for a long time like myself. I can pick up the phone and call these people and they will tell me what's going on at Catalina or they will tell me what's going on at Clemente or down at the Coronados or offshore bluefin fishing. And then I can grab all that information and then sit down and put together a perfectly planned execution for you guys to go out and do 
on your day off because the last thing I want you to do is quit your job and try to figure out this fishing thing because we need you guys working so that we can all go fishing and have fun on your days off. I don't need you all to become fishermen every day and be broke like most of us fishermen. I need you guys to work, gather up that money and then go spend it on the weekends or on whatever day off you get to have. But what I have done at YourSaltWaterGuide.com is I've taken out that part where you have to go out and try to figure it out on your own, on your day off. Now, granted, you're going to go out there and you're going to try to execute the plan that I put together for you on Thursdays. But there's going to be times where you're on your way to the spot and you see something that looks interesting because you've listened to all my videos, you've gone on my website, you've seen the condition videos, you've seen the video about the birds, you've seen the videos about current, you've seen all the things that absolutely matter, but most of us don't have the luxury, luxury, luxury of time, sorry, got stuck. The luxury of time, we only have X amount of time in the day to go fishing on our day off, and normally we bring a friend or two and they would love to catch fish because they saw your pictures of all the fish you caught. And so it's their day to go fishing also. So when it's their day to go fishing and it's your day to go fishing, you want to be as successful as you can. That's why I promote these game plans all the time. I mean, gang, you can't beat it. One time purchase of $20, you get the game plans as long as you're a member for the $4.99 a month. You get game plans every Thursday that are gonna pinpoint the best places to be. If you're fishing out of San Diego, if you're fishing out of Moro, or out of the Channel Islands, or if you're fishing out of Catalina or San Clemente Island, we put together the best plans that we possibly can by the network that we have and by looking at the water on fish dope and looking at the swell height and the direction of the swell. And then I put all that together and then with all my years of knowledge of fishing all these spots, I simply pretend like I am going on your boat. And I just, I'm gonna be on your boat for the day. I'm gonna go to where I believe we have the best chance to catch a fish. And that's how I put together these game plans. And you can start to do that too as you get more adept in this whole thing of fishing and you start to learn how to read the water because you watch the videos on your saltwaterguide.com and you're starting to understand how current is so important to the bite. If there isn't current, there's a really good chance you're not gonna catch any fish and there could be current and you could be catching, catching, catching and then the current stops. And as soon as the current stops, the fish stop biting. Now, a lot of times you won't even notice that the current stopped, but you'll be able to pick up on it pretty quickly because every time you threw your bait in the water, you got a bite, and then all of a sudden you th you're throwing five baits in the water in a row and no bites, and then you look and you're all, oh, sh the current stopped. Also, you can be following the plan pretty well, but you could be going from point A to point B on the backside of Catalina, and you could go by a place that we didn't talk about on the game plan, but you simply saw that the current was flowing because of all the lobster traps that are on the backside of Catalina now, and then you slid in there and started catching fish because there was current. All these things matter. You got to make sure that you're constantly paying attention to what's happening out on the water and you're able to put together the best plan you can so that you can be responsible for catching your friends and your wives and your children and your boyfriends fish when you go out fishing. It's super important to always pay attention. Everything out there matters. Everything matters. What you wanna get away from though is, and you gotta get this out of your mindset, is when you see a bunch of boats stopped fishing, you do not wanna go over there to see what's going on because Nothing's going on over there. There's a bunch of boats over there because there's a bunch of boats over there. 
very rarely will it help you to go fish where all the other boats are. If you constantly are driving around going from pile of boats to pile of boats to pile of boats, you're not gonna get to catch anything. You may get to watch some other boats catch fish, but you want to get established on a spot when you go over there. And you do not wanna spend the day fishing for boats. That's not why you bought your boat. That's not why you're going out there. So I'm sorry I got all excited about this guy asking me about the game plan because it is so important to have a plan when you go fishing. It's important to have a plan when you go to school. It's important to have a plan when you go to work. And these game plans, as you start to learn all the different spots that you went on to the spot videos and you gathered all the spots, now you have a bunch of spots. Now you can start to use the current in your advantage and the wind condition and the swell because every one of my spot videos, every single one of the spots on the videos, I explain to you how to fish it. It's not just a book, you open up and, oh, there's some GPS numbers. No, 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 no. I have a little bit of information on each spot. I tell you if it's a good downhill current spot or if it's a good uphill current spot, if it bites good in the northwest wind or the southeast wind, or if it bites offshore or onshore. I try to give you a little bit of information on each spot so that you can be more adept to catching fish on those spots and you'll start to identify this if you pay attention. If you go back to the spots videos and you listen to what I say on there about how the spots fish, it's super important to know how they fish. Not that you just have a bunch of spots, but you need to know because when I get to the backside of Catalina and I'm driving up the backside and I have a really good plan, I'm gonna go over to Freddy's Beach and that was my plan when I left in the morning and I'm driving straight there and I kinda, I'm not looking at the boats at the V's or I'm not looking at the boats at, at uh, Church Rock and I'm not looking at all Orange Rocks, I'm not looking at that because I'm going straight to Freddy's. But on the way, I see the wind blowing out of the southeast. So I know Freddy's isn't gonna work right now, so I know I'm gonna go somewhere else. I know I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to Salta Verde or I'm gonna go up to China Point. I'm gonna go to one of the places I know that works really good in a southeast when the boat's gonna lay with the ass end pointed up towards the west end of the island. There's only certain spots where that works, but you need to be able to identify those so that when you go, you have a better chance to catch fish because every single day you could have gone out there yesterday and it could be downhill current and a west wind go right back to the same spot 24 hours later and there's no current and there's dead flat wind and there's absolutely no fish to catch you've got to be able to read the ocean while you're cruising from area to area so that you will be better adept at catching fish when you get to where you're going we all want to catch a giant bluefin. We all want to catch a wahoo. We all want to catch a marlin. We all want to catch a yellowtail. But you know what? The one thing we really want to do, we just want to go fishing. And if it's our day to go fishing at Catalina, we want to be able to read the island so we know how to catch fish. We do not want to go there and just fish for boats all day. Yeah, sometimes you'll get lucky and catch a fish next to another boat. But 90% of the time, that won't work. You need to know why the island is fishing the way it's fishing and where do I need to go to better, better my chances of catching a fish. Now, I know I've seen it where everything is perfect. Downhill current, beautiful clean water, beautiful bait, and we didn't catch anything. But I bet you... I saw that maybe 10 times in 46, 47 years of fishing for a living. When that downhill current's going and the water's clean and you got bitch and bait and you're fishing with the right line and the right hook, it's almost impossible not to catch a fish game. You got to really work hard to keep your bait away from the fish when all the conditions are perfect. But you need to know how to read conditions. If you're not a member of your saltwater guide yet, why? What are you waiting for? It costs a whopping $4.99. Go over there, check it out, 
if you're not 1,000% happy with your $4.99 investment, I will refund every penny right back to you immediately. And then you can take your $4.99, go buy a cup of Starbucks coffee. Somebody that hates the world will make it for you. And then you can drink your cup of coffee and then throw your styrofoam cup in the trash and throw the plastic lid somewhere else. Or you can go to your saltwater guide and get over access to over 260 how-to videos to catch fish in Southern California. I don't know. Sounds pretty weird. Gang, I want to thank you all for joining us today. I hope this kind of helped a little bit. Those of you that already know everything, I hope you got a little humor out of it. I want you all to have a great day. What I really need you all to do is turn off the news. Turn off the news. No. We're not all dying down here in Mexico. No one's got the virus. People that have the virus, they're not talking about, there's not, I don't know. I haven't seen the refrigerated trucks driving around with the bodies in them. I don't know. I go outside every day and play outside. I'm around people every single day. Everything's gonna be okay. The number one thing y'all need to do is turn off the TV because they're lying. Lying, lying, lying. Come visit me tomorrow at noon. I'll make you laugh again. Thanks for coming. I enjoyed talking to you and I will be here tomorrow for you.